Percy's Passengers, written by Christopher Audrey. Percy was talking to James in the shed at the big station. My guard was telling me how lonely he is in his van, he was saying. I think he ought to take passengers sometimes to cheer him up. He's not allowed to, said James virtuously. It's against regulations. Guards are important and passengers might distract them so that they couldn't look after the train properly. Oh dear, said Percy. Yes, I suppose they might. They do it on the Midland, put in Gordon. Someone told me about it when I went to Kazar, but that's special. But they don't do it on the other railway. It's on some preserved lines where they haven't got any coaches. You say, James, said Percy triumphantly. Oh, well, they haven't got any coaches, that's different, said James heavily. I'm sure the fat controller wouldn't approve. Pfft, replied Percy cheekily. Never a year now. He puffed away to collect some trucks from the harbour. Meanwhile, on the branch line, some passengers got out of Henrietta at the station by the airfield. They all went through the ticket barrier, except for two, a man and a woman. Ah, said the ticket inspector when he looked at their tickets. You've come too far, I'm afraid, sir. You should have got out of the last station. The two people looked at him. Then they looked at each other and shook their heads. The last station, repeated the ticket inspector slowly. You must go back. There was a pause. Then the man said something to his wife in a language that the ticket inspector didn't understand a word of. He asked a porter to bring the station master. A short time later, Percy came chattering happily along the branch line with his trucks from the harbour. He saw the signal of the station by the airfield at danger and the station master waiting on the platform. There must have been an accident, he thought as he stopped. I hope nobody's hurt. The station master came over with two other people. I'm giving the guard these two passengers to travel in his van, he told Percy. There are foreigners who come too far on Toby's train by mistake. Will you stop at the station by the river to let them off, please? Percy was puzzled. Passengers? he asked when the guard had taken them away. Well, this is a good train. That's right, Percy, said the station master. They're going to travel with the guard in his van. But James says it's against break. Uh, it's not allowed, sir. The station master laughed. Quite right, Percy, he said. So it is, but I don't think James or the fat controller will mind us helping two foreign visitors on our island who can't understand our language, do you? That made it all right, of course. The guard saw that his visitors were as comfortable as he could make them in his van, and when a few minutes later they reached the station they wanted, they came to the front of the train to see Percy. They nodded and smiled and shook hands with the driver and fireman. Then the guard showed them to a taxi that was waiting to take them on the rest of their journey. A few weeks later, a parcel arrived with brightly coloured foreign stamps on the wrapping. Inside were warm new scarves and gloves for Percy's driver and fireman and guard, and a letter addressed to the fat controller saying how splendid his railway was. Percy didn't tell James. It might make him jealous, Percy said to himself. That would never do.